हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू टू माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स टुडे आय एम गोईंग टू टॉक अबाउट पोस्ट फिक्स एक्सप्रेशन इव्हॅल्युएशन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द सेशन आय वुड लाईक टू एक्सप्लेन द कंटेंट्स ऑफ टुडे सेशन सो बेसिकली आय एम गोईंग टू एक्सप्लेन द यूज ऑफ स्टॅक वाईल एक्सप्रेशन इव्हॅल्युएशन specifically the post fix expression evaluation for that what the steps we need to apply and the example with which i'll explain how to evaluate the post fix expression objective of today's session are at the end of this session every learner will be able to understand how to evaluate the post fix expression and for evaluation how the stack can be used now let's start at a glance of a application of stack reversing of the data parenthesis parsing function calls expression conversion for this i have already explained in detail how the stack can be used for implementation of all these applications in my previous video sessions you can go through it and you will come to know the use of stack while applications implementation of reversing the data parenthesis passing function calls and expression conversion in this session i am going to focus on the application expression evaluation now i'll explain the steps which are required for post fix expression evaluation so the step 1 is we need to scan character from post fix expression one by one after scanning a character we need to take a decision whether the scan character is operand or operator if it is operand we need to push it onto the stack here we are going to use a stack to contain the operand or the result of the evaluation of the expression step 3 is if scan character is not operand it means that it is operator and if it is operator we need to perform some more steps on that so if it is operator perform two consecutive pop operations onto the stack what we need to do or what we are going to do with these two consecutive pop operations now as we have performing as we, as we are performing all these steps for the scan character is operator it means this is the operator which is binary operator that's why will require two operands to perform the operation on that operands now as the stack is used to store the operands that's why we'll perform two pop operations which are used to perform the particular operation with the help of this operator the next step is treat first pop operand as the second operand and second pop operand as the first operand in arithmetic operation i'll explain this step in detail while explanation of example in the next slide now after performing all these operations means two consecutive pop operations what we need to do we need to perform respective arithmetic operation for the operator which is scan from a post fix expression after performing the arithmetic operation what we need to do so after performing the arithmetic operation we'll perform push operation again on the stack what we are going to push so push generated result 
by the arithmetic operation onto the stack. Now the next step is we need to perform 1 to step 4 repeatedly means after performing all these operations once we will go back to scan the next character. If it is operand we need to perform push. If it is operator we need to perform all these operations again and at the end the single result will be there the single value will be there onto the stack and that will be the result of expression evaluation. Now I will explain all these things with the help of example. Now let's see one example where I am going to divide a page or a slide into three columns. The first one is postfix expression which we are going to evaluate now. A stack which is holding the operands or the result and at the end this is the space which is used for evaluation of arithmetic operation. Now let's go through the example. The first example where 2 3 plus 5 4 minus star I am going to use as a postfix expression evaluation. Initially the stack is empty. For the next operation, we will scan a first character from the postfix expression is operand and if it is operand, we need to perform push operation. That is why 2 is pushed onto the stack. The next is nothing but the operand again, per perform push operation onto the stack. Now the next thing is, the next scan character will be the plus operator. What we need to do? Operator is scanned from the postfix expression. We need to perform two consecutive pop operations. Now two consecutive pop operations we are going to perform onto the stack. Now let's see the first pop operand will be 3 is going to become a second operand in the arithmetic operation. The second pop operand will be 2 is going to become a first operand into the arithmetic operation. The operator which was scanned from the postfix expression that operation that is plus operation we are going to perform on this 2 operand. 2 plus 3 the result will be 5. What will be the next step? So next step is push result back onto the stack. So after pushing back the result onto the stack stack is holding a one value which is nothing but the result generated by the previous operation. The next is nothing but the 5 which is operand perform push operation. Next is 4 perform push operation again. Now next scan character is nothing but the minus operator. For that we need to perform two consecutive operations again. Operator is scan perform two pop operations. Now that is why we are going to perform two consecutive pop operations. 4 will become the second operand. 5 will become a first operand. The minus operation will get performed and result will be 1. Now this result we need to push back onto the stack and your stack will be like this. Having two operands now. The next scan correct is nothing but the multiplication operator as the operator is can perform two pop operations. So 1 is popped is going to become a second operand, 5 is popped is going to become a first operand and multiplication of these two operand result will be 5 push back result onto the stack and a single data will be there into the stack sorry it is written as empty but 5 we need to push back onto the stack and we have done with the postfix expression. In this way the result of this evaluation will be 5. Now let's go through the another example. Here I am going to explain this example in some different way where I have shown the infix expression over here. The equivalent postfix expression it's also given over here. 
and now this expression we are going to evaluate for this evaluation i am going to divide my page into four columns the first one is scan character next one is operation what we are going to perform whether it is push or pop what is the status of stack and at the same time what the evaluation if any we are going to perform so now let's start with the postfix expression the first scan character will be 6 as it is operand push onto the stack that's why it is onto the stack the next one is 3 again operand push onto the stack and stack is holding two operands now the next scan character is division operator we need to perform two pop operations because this is nothing but the operator that's why two consecutive pop operations we need to evaluate it and we need to push back the result so that's why 6 divided by 3 and the result will be 2 and that we are going to push back onto the stack the first popped operator is going to become, become a second operand second pop operand is going to become a first operand and now the 6 divided by 2 result is 2 and that we are going to push back onto the stack again next scan character is 6 push it onto the stack the next scan character is multiplication operator we need to perform two consecutive pop operations then evaluate and push back result onto the stack same thing 2 multiplied by 6 result will be 12 and that we are going to push back onto the stack the next scan character is nothing but 3 push it onto the stack next 2 it is operand that's why push onto the stack next one is power operator now this is the operator that's why perform two consecutive pop operations so 2 is pop first is going to become a second operand next 3 is pop going to become a first operand 3 to the power 2 result will be 9 and that we are going to push back onto the stack the last operator or the last character which is scan from the postfix expression is nothing but the operator that's why again perform two consecutive pop operations they are nothing but the 12 and 9 9 is the first pop operand next 12 is the second pop operand minus is the operator that's why perform subtraction 12 minus 9 result will be 3 push back onto the stack and this is nothing but the result we have done with the postfix expression a single value is there onto the stack so it indicates that this is nothing but the evaluation result of the given postfix expression in this way you can solve or you can evaluate any of the postfix expression thank you dear friends for listening my video if you like the contents and the video please like the video and subscribe the channel stay tuned with tech talks